Beijing is pursuing policies similar to those Tokyo did before Japan tumbled into financial meltdown. The economic system East Asian policymakers have put in place over the past 60 years has had both spectacular successes and equally spectacular failures. On the positive side, the Asian development model, as it is often called, generated what is probably the greatest surge of wealth in human history, wiped out poverty on an unprecedented scale and built industries at a spellbinding pace. On the downside, however, the model, by effectively subsidizing investment, also produces dizzying levels of debt, burdensome excess capacity and enfeebled financial sectors. That has resulted in severe financial crises, like the one suffered by 1990s Japan, the inventor of the Asian development model, from which it had still not fully recovered. China, too, has followed this same model. In fact, Beijing has put it on steroids by adding in a degree of state control that the Japanese would never have dreamed up. So that begs the obvious question, will China face the same fate as Japan? Strategists Noki Kamiyama and David Kui at Bank of America Merrill Lynch say the answer could be yes. China's development unfortunately has 